shopping soon. <laughs> Too many ponies. <laughs> So the audiobook I'm listening to, sorry I had something wet. The audiobook I'm listening to at the moment is The Laws of Human Nature. Is it by Robert Green? Uh, it's amazing and they're doing, it's, there's a section on them at the moment and the story was Martin Luther King's story. Martin Luther King Jr. Yeah. And I have never heard his story like properly. Obviously I know like, I have a dream, that speech. Um, but I didn't know his story and it's so interesting to listen because he used to really doubt himself and like throughout his career he really doubted himself at times so it's just normal um, and also it's nice because God speaks to him so I'm like ooh uh, but anyway guess what time it is now breakfast time da -da. Sad times, we don't have any bananas, so it's gonna be porridge this morning. Come here, come say hi. Hi. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, I'm just knackered. What I was about to say was, um, you know they say to uh, surround yourself with inspirational people. That's this... not me then. <laughs> Mum, I'm trying to have a speech here. This is like the only generation where we have it at our fingertips because it's like YouTube, internet, if you want to get some inspiration. Obviously Libby Towers isn't handing it out today. <laughs> I'm oh mum, today's video, as I'll tell you guys what today's video as well, is gonna be talking about pole work. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, see I've just told her this so she can't like shout at me. Because the camera's rolling. <sighs> Excellent. It's fine. Bungee bands and Oh, and I'm also riding the three year olds. Um and we'll do oh, some pot. We'll do some poles with the four-year-olds, and I might do some with the eagle in between him working. Good for the loosening up of the back. Anyway, I'm telling you this, guys. I'm telling you this later. Um, I'm just gonna eat some porridge. It's Tuesday, which means there's not been that many days between the last vlog and this vlog. Is my head in shot? Hold on. Um, why is the camera wonky? Oh, hold on. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> hey guys, so my camera's still wonky. Oh gosh. Oh, that's better. Oh, I've got that. Hey guys, so today is Tuesday and the last vlog was Saturday, so there has only been a Sunday and a Monday in between me last talking to you guys. But 
I can now tell you the exciting thing because this won't be published until Sunday and I'll have already released the exciting news. Exciting news being, you know, the thing that I've been building up. <clears throat> <clears throat> big deal. Pretty big deal. The coolest and I would have never thought this that, like something like this would have happened ever 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 when I started vlogging. Um, so basically yeah that's what I'm doing. It's a pretty big deal. They're a pretty big deal. In other news, nah no, no, nothing's really happened. I mean, that was all I got to tell you. Oh, it is Laura's birthday, by the way. If you've wondered what the cake is and the presents, um, it's her birthday. So that's really cool. And what I was going to say is this video, like I was saying a minute ago, this video is going to be on poll work. So I'm going to do it with the youngsters. Going to get mum and me to talk through why we do it with them, how we do it. Uh, Eagle can do a bit. The three-year-olds, I mean, I could give it a whirl. Um, I've only ridden the three-year-olds once since I've been back into work, so this will be the second time, but it'll be fun. And then later on, I'm doing the yard, and then I'm going to go to the gym, and I'm going to go see my friend Courtney, because I haven't seen her for months. But that is basically today's plan, kids. Let's quack on. Behind me are our new Cavalesi poles, which we got last week. So um, yeah, we're finding it really exciting. Before we used to use poles with little blocks to hold them up. But the great thing about these is you can see the like squares. You can roll them to different heights. Um, they're a lot more stable and it's just something we've wanted. So me and mum saved up and got some, which is really cool. They are expensive. So if you want the cheaper version, you can do what we used to do and also potties are really good this is quite a commonly known thing for cavalettis um i think you can get like a potty a pound per potty and you can get loads of them so that's that's good and they work well um so distances i just spoke to mum about distances and she uses four of her feet but then when I do it, it's three and a half, but we really just go on feel and it will change from horse to horse. So if a horse has a bigger stride, they'll be a bit bigger. If they have a smaller stride, it'll be smaller. But what's good about them, is it gets them to like, sometimes reach and open their stride up more or collect their stride a little bit more. But um, you can come up, but I will explain that to you guys later why we use them, but that is what we do. No, I said, oh yeah. <laughs> I said, oh heck. Oh yeah. Oh, your birthday cake came. Get ready. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> What's it called? Something lamb. What is it? Right, so these trot poles are the first time I've had them on this pardon on this um, height ridden so we only use three at a time and this will help strengthen him for the passage sit still oh. it's more like going cross country a canter rhythm and don't do anything dull to anything but try to remember that your hands aren't to be pinned on the withers Yeah, you can go forwards over the jump, you just not to help him, he's got to think for himself. And then do your trot balls, or the other way round. That's it, and think about your transitions. Well, you could have turned up to the pole, never mind.
I think I missed that. Oh, I'm nearly as good at this as filming a dressage test. But he should work it out, I would have thought. He thinks the poles are still trotting high. <laughs> good. Better, better dressage riding from you. But it's, don't worry about the mistakes, it's how he learns. So think of a nice trot, you ride your trot and he has to pick his legs up. Good. Now we're going to do a bit of a vent train and we're going to do a mini V. Not that overly beneficial to the dressage horse, but it'd be quite fun. <laughs> oh, good job. Good job you don't want to go to badminton. You'll be in the shit if you do that the other way round. <laughs> Ride your line, put him between your leg and hand. <laughs> right, you need to go. Pardon? You have to ride him between your hand and your leg. Imagine those Avengers on those three foot six skinnies. <laughs> It was closer. You will have to get a straight line to this. <laughs> oh dear, she's had a run out. <laughs> a run out at the skinny. <laughs> Clever boy. Soon. <laughs> Pop him down the other way. That's why you did it, to give him confidence. Don't let him take over, good. You can add your flying changes. Now ride him between your leg and your hand. Hold him on the line. Hold him on the line. Hop. Well, not bad. Better rip. Right, sit, ride your line. See your line and hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Good. Come on, say what you just yeah. said. <laughs> Mum, don't bail out now. I am bailing out. No, you're not. I think a lot of people are disagreeing. Yeah, but people are allowed to disagree. It's your your thoughts. Come on. What? Well, what dressed horses are held up in the frame and sticking. I don't think they're held up. I think they do hold themselves up, but it's like us just working in one way in the gym yeah, all the time. It's, it's good to vary it, isn't it? Ride. I think the judges want to see that beautiful, steady frame. Yeah, and that's fine, but they should be able to go in other frames as well. And that's why we like to fly around. Uh oh, it did dig there. Keep it simple, be your day. she's going to kill me when she edits this because I'm actually
So it's the three year old's turn now. <laughs> Ow, she poked me in the eye with a whisker. I love my poles. They're such good cavalettes. They're good, aren't they? Oh, yeah, really good. Like, I'm surprised how good they are. She was better than last time. Oh, God. It's a wonder she hasn't dragged you over a pole yet. Normally, when you're going to canter, <laughs> <laughs> on the left rein. <laughs> Never good when you have the first few strides, is it? You think you get. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think it's quite the asshole he was. He's got a wicked sense of humour, Molly. <laughs> He's tired today. Are you doing these trot poles? Are you doing your trot? <laughs> Not that I think that any of them will. <laughs> uh, Robins. I mean, he used to have a Robin visit the school. He sits on that mat quite yeah. often by the door. It's a nice thought, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know if it's true, but. to be a show jumper. Yeah, be my show jumper. Yes, take me over. Well, the first time I did it with them, it was really boring. They were in here for about five minutes. Normally, I have to lead them over, walk them round. Bobby's turn. Hey, honey. She loses her back, but I think that's just because she's weak and big, isn't it? She, yeah. like her back dips away. She's better in this. Actually, it's not bad without a throat lash. I think she's one of those that prefers less. She does. It doesn't matter, does it? I never do my tack up tight. It's all, I always, I'm always able to take my bridle off without and do my nose band. Well, I've um. Now that I've got that bit for Poppy, I've taken her flash off and literally just have a baggy no fun. She's yeah. so much better than this. I think that some horses are frightened if they... Well, that's a good place to do that. Um, they're frightened because they have to breathe quite a lot yeah. and then they're getting a bit like us being claustrophobic. Yeah. They can't... Oh, fuck. <laughs> She's off. <laughs> the boat's moving. That's because I do. <laughs> I give her a She'll be all right. She just needs to plod around for yeah. a bit. She comes off the ground so far in the canter behind that. 
she's going to be in such a... She is. Yeah. I think that's why she didn't like the contact picked up on the... No. Well, I don't know. I haven't ridden her. I would actually ride her, you know. No, because I haven't got any clothes. I would trust her enough to ride her. Yeah, but now I now, now I can feel it in my body how to react to them. So when they get frightened, I know to reassure them. Not even that to just relax, like and and. You have to be strong for them, though, don't you? Like yeah, but it's not about like getting hold of them more. No, it's, it's actually not. about leaving them alone, but not abandoning them. Yeah, that's a hard thing to learn. Okay. Who taught me that? Wilf's taught me that. You have a habit of blaming yourself, so then you start blaming yourself instead of thinking of a positive way for both of you. Yeah. I always do that. It's not Estee Lauder, by the way. Have you shown them what you bought me from Estee Lauder? Have you seen it? Yeah. Oh, cute. Have you? No, because every day when they crushed it, they'll be like, oh, woo. Look, Olivia splashed out and got me something from Estee Lauder. I don't know whether you can see that. I'll show you all. <laughs> My very own Bible. <laughs> Look well, at that. Hilarious. I love that. I bet you're like, ooh, that's it. Well, it literally brought a little smile to my face. I thought that was so cute. Did you eat the little burst at the front? Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's cute, isn't it? My writing's sh shitty. Carol did that for me. She wrote in it. And the writing was much cute, right? <laughs> so sweet. Sprayed myself in the face of the hose. <laughs> you can't even see. <laughs> it's lunch time. Yes. Looks a bit stunned. I'm not surprised. Just had a knife go into its side. Lucky lamb. <laughs> That's so good. What is it with cake? This is like some merry berry thing right here. I should have cut a bigger slice. Is it really? Oh. Oh yeah. Now into your mouth. <laughs> All in one. Go. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> yes, he actually did it. <laughs> okay, round two. Ding 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 ding. Going to go and do the ponies now, and then we can go for the gym. I did have a bit of that cake, not much. I feel a little bit icky sicky now though. <sighs> Walk it off. Hi guys! I totally forgot I haven't spoken to you guys about pole work. That was what the whole vlog's on. So I'm just gonna wait for mum's con out, but when she comes back, we'll chat about it. I'm just feeding ponies. Hello, Woofus to Doofus. And I'm Woofus to Doofus, and I'm Kipper to Nipper. <laughs> Hi, guys. Oh my gosh, could you go any slower? <laughs> <laughs> my belly is full of the glasses. <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. Look at her mane. Yeah, I'm wild and free. <laughs> oh, stop laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, come on. <laughs> right. What's that floating in the top of my coffee? <laughs> um, a coffee thing. Oh, that's right. it's not Okay, so first up, we are going to tell you why we do pole work with the horses. Mum, why do we do pole work with the horses? Um, to give them variety, to make them more athletic. 
to make them think for themselves a little bit and to use a whole different set of muscles um, because it's no good wearing the same joints and muscles and everything out over and over again because it's like us going to the gym and doing one exercise for four times four times a week okay anything else you want to add to that um trying to think what would you like to add to it and why we do it mm -hmm. um i think it gets them moving over their backs more moving through their body more they also do it without me on it on a saturday so i think it's good for them to not have a rider on sometimes when they're trying to um strengthen their core because i always say it's like us being in the gym and planking you'd start with no weight and then you'd add weight to it and that's what the rider is it's more weight to the horse so i think it's good for them for that it makes them not one-sided so much because they have to use equal mm. and also i think it makes the horses more trusting of you so you know what we saw you saw me doing with eagle earlier okay that was like quite an extreme thing but if you can get your horse to trust you on most things then when you go into the arena um you know that they're more with you and yeah they're more trusting would you say hopefully um so if somebody has never done pole work how would you introduce it I'd start with one pole mm -hmm. and then a week later I'd add two and then mm -hmm. I'd just build up very slowly like that. And Especially would you do it on the lunge first or would you do it ridden first? Um, I think if you're confident and you don't mind if they jump, leap up in the air, you're fine to do it ridden. Mm -hmm. I think lunging horses is important because I think it helps you see an overall picture of where the weakness and everything else is from the ground. Yeah. Um, and it's easier for them to lift their back. And what age would you introduce it? What age horse? We introduce ours at three, so our horses only work for like five or ten minutes, our three-year-olds. Once um, a week? Yeah. With me ridden? They don't go, I don't lunge at them um, more than five or ten minutes in fairness. They are both really good, so I don't have to. Um, and I think then you introduce it then, and you introduce it as many things, like the horses coming in and out the arena, and poles and everything you can really slowly mm -hmm. and confidently yeah um but if you horse has never done it and they're say seven it doesn't mean you can't do it no um you can introduce it at any age um how often do we do it um well if it's icy and the roads we can't hack then quite often we do it on a wednesday as well as a saturday so we do it we do it a on a Saturday, different. which is where I am teaching most of the time, so they do it with um, lunging. And then, yeah, we do it on a Wednesday if they don't go hacking. But I would say I, I'm starting to do it a bit more. I um, think you consistently have to do it to see an improvement as well. Like it's no good doing mm. once every six weeks and saying, and we'll have a pole day. Yeah, but like I would say with the four-year-olds now, I try and ride them, ride them once a week with poles um because i think it gives them variety as well because they're so young i don't want them to get stale or bored so i think it's good for them to do other things and also it takes the pressure off me a bit as well um is there anything else you want to add about pole work no i think that if your horse has got a weaker hind leg it helps strengthen it because it's oh yeah there's there's um a lot of research done that pole work is the same movement as when a horse goes on the water treadmill so it's just the cheaper alternative if you can't afford to go and use a water treadmill to use and a lot horse. of um pole work done in walks very good for them like leg yielding sideways over them for the more advanced horses and things like that mm. it's incredibly good for them. and there's loads of different um ways you can do it isn't there like we didn't show that very well today but you can set the poles out in so many different ways and there's loads of it on the internet and it doesn't really matter if you're there not at exactly the right space because it's all about one poles. day we should do a pot like an actual okay video not that this wasn't a natural video but anyway um that's that i'll leave you alone now so we're gonna go to the gym and yeah. mum's gonna have a coffee so all ready for the gym i'm going to do i'm not sure push or pull tonight i'll decide when i get there um i'm missing fran my little gym bud but she did leave me some chalk which was really cute but yeah i loved going to the gym with her anyway <laughs> my car smells so bad
session is done. It was quite tough today, purely for the fact that I messed up a bit with my eating today. I haven't eaten enough um, for training and yeah, basically I need to eat more because when I can feel like I'm not, I don't feel as strong as I normally do in the gym, I know I haven't eaten enough. Um, so I just need to, I need to get to Tesco's and get some chicken um, and pre-prep my meals a little bit more because I just need to eat more, which is cool. Um, it's because I'm training so hard that I'm needing to up my protein calories all that sort of thing but i am super proud of myself because with training like i would say only once in my life before have i felt like i'm really like nailing the gym like nailing the training um but i don't think i was doing it for the benefit of my body i think i was just like going hard and just trying to lift as heavy a weight as i could but now i really feel like i'm starting to see a difference with um my muscles and how my body feels and how it's working and its strength um, and definitely for riding, which is really cool. And I never used to work my lats, but that's something that I've started to do now with um, Pro View Sport. They picked that up that I need it. And yeah, they're amazing. And um, they've helped me loads. And also they have an app, um, which your workouts on there, and then you just clock in what you're doing. And then it tells you what you did last time. It tells you if you get personal bests, all that sort of thing, which is incredible. They're incredible, but I think as well, like, it just, all my ducks are in a row with it, if that makes sense. I don't think it just takes one thing. Um, I think you have to have, like, a few little things. People are staring at me filming myself in the car. Anyway, I am going to drive to Cheltenham now to see my friend because I'm starving. We'll go to Pizza, Ex Pizza Express. Um, I'm just going to eat so much food.